Droners, what's up? And welcome to another special edition of Droner Lists. This one's really interesting because 99% of the time when we talk about drones, we're talking about things that fly. Today, not so much. We're going to be talking about underwater drones because there are actually drones that do underwater stuff. And they're really interesting and really cool. And like doing this research and going through all this, like, I'm like, yo, I might have to get one of these and offer this service to whoever would need underwater. I don't know who would need it, but I want to do it. It's great. So let's get into it. Coming in at number five, we have the TT Robotics Seawolf Ocean Master. Mouthful. Um, they actually debuted this at the uh, Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas last year. And the really cool thing about these drones is they're compatible with GoPros. And we all know GoPros are super high quality camera depending on which one you get. And you can use pretty much any of them with this. This drone is not cheap. Um, it comes in at about $1,600 to $2,000. But it also comes with like a RC um, remote controller, seven inch monitor, and um, <clears throat> it can go down to 200 feet. Has a max speed of two knots, which is like six miles an hour, I think. Um, and it live streams to your, your monitor, because why would you have a monitor if it doesn't work? And it has a big LED driving flashlights and about 50 minutes of drive time underwater. Looks really fun, looks really cool. My birthday's coming up, you should probably get me one. But they're really cool. Um, like this is the only this is the only drone on this entire list that I actually can do salt water and fresh water. Um, I don't know if there's any kind of like crossover thing you have to learn for that it didn't say but it can do both of those and it also has like an equivalent of a return to home feature where if there's something wrong like a transmission signal is lost or the battery is getting critical low or even if it leaks that there it, it thinks that there's a hole leak or something like that then it'll just automatically surface wherever it is it'll just be like boop right to the top so you can find it pull it in because obviously it's tethered um and it'll be cool so check it out next up at number four we have the hydro view hydro view is made by aquabotics which also makes the Endora, which is a super professional grade ROV, which is what underground drone, underwater drones are called. Um, and it's listed under their recreational, um, but you'll see that I don't particularly feel that. Either way, um, they're piloted through like an iPad or Android device or a PC. Um, it has like a 1080p regular HD camera on it, um, equipped with four front facing LED lights. It has two to three hours of battery life, even though I've seen some reviews that people are talking about they've got it down to 330 feet. And it goes up to five knots, which is six miles an hour, um, which means obviously I was incorrect about two knots before. And the Wi-Fi broadcast station, which pretty much is what it does it. Obviously, it has to have a Wi-Fi broadcast station to be able to control it. Um, so the thing, the reason why this is so low on the sh on the list is because it ain't cheap. Like the, there's a sport version of it that's six thousand dollars that comes with a seventy foot tether and eight gigs of bikes of memory. Then there's the plus, $7,000, 150 foot tether, 32 gigabytes of memory. The third one is the max version, which comes in at a whopping nine grand. 200 foot tether, 32 gigabytes of memory, orientation, depth, and temperature sensors, which I feel like I'd want it on any of them. Um, high performance power package, maybe it's faster. And it also has prop covers. Cool, so I guess they don't hit stuff underwater. Another cool feature is that it actually works with first person view goggles, like the Fat Shark ones. And I can't lie to you, this, is, I, this would probably be my number one if it didn't cost so much. All right, coming in at number three, Fathom One. The Fathom One is actually a Kickstarter project, so it's not out yet. Um, but it's so exciting that I had to talk to you about it because it comes in pretty cheap at about $599. Has a, body, a one hour battery life, three knots max speed, another HD 1080p. Um, and it goes down to 150 feet and has the front mounted LEDs to help you see in the murky waters. Um, this drone was made to be like modular. It was modular design so that you can actually add things to it. It has like bars and stuff to it. So you can actually add different LED setups, maybe even bigger camera like an A7S, which I would personally use if I was going to be doing any kind of underwater stuff. If I could make that work, that's the camera I'd want because there's no light underwater. And that's the low, best low light camera there is. Either way, um, this drone is pretty cool. I think it's going to be great. But that doesn't mean anything because it's a Kickstarter and we've experienced before and talked about before that Kickstarters and things like that don't mean anything. Number two, this one's called an open robe and this is for people that are real tinkerers. Like people that are like actually professional racing drone pilots or people who know how to solder and do all this stuff and they're like, I like to build stuff. You know, you're that person. Then this is your drone, underwater that is, because you're gonna have to build this thing. Like, I mean like actually build it. Like this is not a beginner thing. Like you need a smoldering iron, electrical tape, acrylic, cement, and more. So if you like building stuff, then holla at your boy. Like this is great. I don't like building stuff, so I wouldn't get this drone. But if you do, then get it. Um, and it's actually pretty cheap compared like the, to the Hydro View. It's like 900 bucks. Um, but 
you know, like all the extra upgrades are going to cost more. Like if you want to get like a longer battery life, it comes with a two to three hour battery. You can get one for three to five, costs more. Maximum depth is 328 feet though. That's like more than any of these other ones are professing. So the camera is an HD camera, which I believe is 720, but it says it's upgradable to 1080, but it has limited latency, which means that you're not going to be able to go as far and be able to see what's going on. Um, and it also has a tilting camera, so you might be able to do more drone-like moves where it's like, Bloop, you know. Yes, that was a water sound. Shut up. Um, and it also has 200 lumen LEDs, which is a certain level of brightness, which can be upgraded to 700 lumen LEDs, which sounds brighter to me. Um, so yeah, the price of this is incredibly variable depending on how much you want to tinker with it. And you can control it from your laptop and do video streaming and, you know, it, it does pretty much any way you want to control this. Whatever you want to do with it, you can do it because it's so modular. Coming in at number one is the Powerway. And if you've been watching our Droner News segments, which are awesome, you should definitely check those out, you'll see that the Power Visions Powerway due out this summer, if you haven't, is about to be the standard of underwater ROVs, like, and, you know, flying drone things. It has a 4K camera already integrated in it. It can go down to 100 feet. And this thing is like pretty much, they're, just, they're, they're I guess they're pitching it to fishing men, fishermen because obviously we have trouble fishing at this point. Um, but yeah, it's saying it has a fish finding sonar. So you can pretty much just drop this thing in the water like, yo, where the fish at? And it'll be like, it's over here, they're over there. And it even has like an internal light that claims to lure fish towards it, um, which just feels like cheating so hard. You know, I thought part of fishing was learning patience. That's why I don't like fishing. Um, and it's, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. Like I wouldn't call this fishing personally, but it's really cool because I would want to play with this thing with a 4K camera. Why do you need 4K camera to fish? What are you talking about? But either way, who am I? It's compatible with first person view, view goggles and can be driven with them. Like you can literally like be looking around and it'll follow your eyes and go wherever you tell it to go, which is really cool. And I'm hoping that they can deliver on all these promises for a reasonable price point because they haven't told us the price point yet. Droners, thank you for checking out this underwater version of Droner List. Really appreciate you being here. And if you want to see more drone like or our welcome video, which is the dopest video ever, click here. And if you want to see more drone lists, you can click right here. Yeah, my energy went up because you get to subscribe and support us or check out our Patreon page, which I really would love you to do. And as always, make sure you stay fly.